Now God had caused the official to show favor and compassion to Daniel. God caused the official to show favor and compassion to Daniel. So God's got the ability to move on other people to show us favor. I want to preach a message I call the fog factor. Fog is an acronym and it stands for the favor of God. God. Because see, when you factor in the favor of God, a lot of things can change in our life and our walk with Jesus Christ. Luck is a random occurrence, but favor is blessings from God. Fourteen times in the book of Genesis are recorded these words, this phrase, and I quote, they found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Fourteen times in the opening book of the Bible. But I feel like I need to make you comfortable that it is okay for you to pray for the favor and blessings of God in your life. It's okay for you to do that. I want to show you scripturally that other people did that. The Word of God said Samuel found favor with God and man. We find a man by the name of Manasseh in prison, shackled up, hooking his nose in that condition. Do you know what he prayed? He prayed that God would show him favor. In verse Verse 13, do you know what the Bible says there? It said the Lord was moved by his request. So he prayed for favor and it touched the heart of God. You see, friend, there are other people in the Word of God that prayed for favor and God granted. It's okay for you to pray for the favor of God. It positions us. Daniel, a man among men, waiting in the wings, gets a voice with the king. That's God. Nobody knew his name, but see the favor of God worked that. The fog not only positions us, it promotes us. At the beginning of the day, nobody knew Daniel's name. But the favor of God positioned him. He interpreted the dream. Now at the end of the day, he's got a king bowing down before him, giving him offerings. Now here's what I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you this, because you gotta understand when the fog rolls in and God starts blessing and God starts promoting, there's going to be a lot of people that don't like it. And some of those people call themselves Christians. We haven't completely got down Romans 12. We know how to mourn with those that mourn. But we don't know yet how to fully rejoice with those that rejoice. So when the promotion comes, when the fog rolls in, there are going to be people that talk about you. They don't like you. They're going to be jealous. Look, it happened to Daniel. Because a decree had been made, you cannot pray to anybody but the king. But the Bible said Daniel kept doing what he always did. He'd go in, throw open the windows of heaven three times a day, and pray to his God. At the first light of dawn, the king got up and hurried to the lion's den. When he came near the den, he called to Daniel in an anguished voice. Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you serve continually, been able to rescue you from the lions? Verse 20, one, Daniel answered. Those are my favorite two words of the story. You can't answer if you're dead. The favor of God positions, promotes, and protects. May the fall get thick in this church to position you, to promote you, and to protect you. This verse lets you and I know this is not a one-night wonder because Psalm chapter 30 and verse number 5 says the favor of God lasts a lifetime. There is no stopping point to the fog that's going to be on you, on your family, and on this church. It positions, promotes, and protects in Jesus' name.